First Alert Weather with Caitlin Napoleone. 515 here on this Friday morning. A lot of snow last night for some places. Also a lot of rain. So depending on where you were, uh, determine what you got. Ludlow though, plenty of snow. Almost a half of a foot there at 5.8 inches. Weston 4 inches. Greensboro 3.4 and three inches for Danamora and Chester. We are still looking for reports. So if you've got your report, especially if you're in one of those higher elevations that got the snow, we'd love to see it posted on our Facebook page. You can also share your photos, which I'll be sharing more of throughout the morning. This is one example. Wendy shared this on our Facebook page, and that is from West Jay Z, a nice little winter wonderland there outside on her patio or on her deck. Uh, pretty impressive. If you didn't get the rain, uh, the snow, you definitely got the rain. It is still falling for four parts of the Champlain Valley. Maybe even some snow showers left in the higher peaks of the Adirondacks. Maybe not showing up on radar, but we'll also have some of that in the Green Mountains. Maybe an additional inch or so of that there throughout the morning hours. The rain, though, is more widespread. It is slowly coming to an end, though. You can see this whole system is exiting to the east. As it does, the commute this morning will likely still be a little bit sloppy, so I urge you to use extra caution. Drive a little slower, leave a little early this morning, as we are still getting used to those winter driving conditions. Uh, at least it's comfortable by the end of October standards. 39 degrees in Burlington, 40 in Plattsburgh. Some cooler spots down to 33 degrees in Montpelier, 34 in Newport, and 32 degrees in Springfield. So definitely a morning to have your rain boots, your snow boots, and your winter jackets on and things like that. We don't really improve much throughout the day like the last few days. We are still going to be plenty cool. Thankfully, the wind is going to be lighter and that rain will slowly come to an end. So some scattered showers perhaps through noon, a couple of those later on this evening, especially in the higher elevations, but those are wrapping up. And by overnight tonight, we should be really starting to clear up. You can see Futurecast giving us a break in the rain until tomorrow. So once again, that rain is going to be back. This is a mostly or almost even entirely rain event. Saturday morning, it'll begin and you'll find some of those scattered showers showing up here on your Futurecast throughout all the way through Saturday night. On Sunday, we do dry up a little bit, maybe a chance at a few showers, especially the further south that you are, but it is mostly dry by the end of the weekend. And just in time for Halloween, clearing up really nice, and we'll get some sun on Monday. Trick-or-treating time being in the upper 40s.